Hello there, it's Tasha here from Tasha's Woodshed. Um, uh, oh, and by the way, it's not a shed, it's a garage. Sorry, big lie. Um, <laughs> thanks, Eddie, for showing them around. Um, so I've been asked by a lot of people to show you how to make pet dog cars. So I'm going to show you. Um, uh, the tools you're going to need for this is a table saw, a band's pillar drill, a bandsaw, and a sanding belt and extraction here so you don't die. Excellent. And uh, this one's from uh, Warwick Woodwork, the best tip ever. Massive box of pencils because you lose them everywhere. Okay, and most important, hot water bottle. Yes. Uh, so, let's begin. Uh, the, you get your 50 bit, 50 mil beach, like this. And we're going to use a table saw to cut it into smaller bits like this so that it's the right thickness to shape the car. Okay, oh, and remember, safety first. Right, let's do this. One. Uh, while you've got your table saw out, I recommend you cut the thickness for your wheels. So you're going to cut them into um, sort of about 12 mil thickness for the wheels. We're going to use the same 50 mil beach. I'm going to rip it along. So you can pause it now. you don't get my several chins in. Oi, get off the back off. <laughs> <laughs> right, this part is the template part. So what you do, cut, uh, draw around your template. There we go. Get out of it. Sorry. Okay, but the most important bit is, as you can see, there's a curve here, okay? Uh, we're gonna straighten that off like that, and we're just gonna cut around the straight part. Uh, I'll tell you why later. Okay, let's cut this out. Goggles on. Oh wait, I've got to plug it in. I've got to plug it in. Where's, what's that? That's not the plug for that. This is riveting. Oh, you can see this is the, um, what do you call it? The true professionalism of Tasha's woodshed. Right, let's do this. Tash, what machine is that again? That's the band saw. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, normally I'd want 40 thick uh, beach, but I don't have it, so it's 50, so I've got to take that off. Goggles on. I just don't know because anyone wants me to. Okay, so um, I'm, I'm making this for lovely Alice from When You Like This. So she wants her holes at 36 mil, uh, which is for the 35 mil peg dolls. We've got, we use 34 mil for the uh, 32 mil peg dolls. Or as you can see, we've got an array of force bits here. I don't think you can get peg dolls. What are these size. called again? Uh, force and bits. Okay. Um, and what was I going to say? Yes, minus C tested up to 40 mil. Um, that's the hole I had. So with due diligence, you can tell that the smaller ones are going to be fine. Um, uh, I guess this is this is the reason why we don't we don't put the hole in for the peg while it's curved because it will then jump around. The force and bit needs uh, something to latch onto. I don't know what the word is, but it needs to centralise in that little hole. And if you do it here, these bits catch first. So we're going to do it. Um, so we're going to do it while it's flat, mm -hmm. while it's still flat, that was... Is it lunchtime yet? Oh, shh. I know you think you it. <laughs> Can I just say, the only reason we're doing this video is because Eddie's bored and she keeps on bothering me in the woodshed. <laughs> Is that a special type of drill? It's I'm a pillar driller. But one thing, there's normally a gauge, a measure here on the pillar drill, but mine broke. Oh. So um, I have to uh, guess, and then I have to use the depth gauge okay. um, Ooh, ow. for the actual well, size I, I couldn't see that. Where's the depth gauge? The depth gauge is here. I'm just being thorough. That's all right. And I'm taking to 80 mil. Uh, but not yet, because we have to do it when uh, when we've cut out this curve here. So this is the next bit. We're going to... Um, sand it uh, we're using a belt sander to this okay this shape so let's Stop. do that i'm just 